beautiful day outside, driving to work with my buddy. Hey! See both on the way. There you are! Safety. Woo, he's so excited. Look at him. He's so excited. I need sustenance. I know you're excited, but I gotta turn it down so I can order. Okay. Just take a nap right there. Just take a nap. You want a fry? Here you go. There's a fry, little buddy. Okay. Let's go get Costco gas because I always get Costco gas because I always need gas. Full on gas. Headed to work. Okay, it is break time. Time to get some more steps. Ah, it's a hot day. Um, while on break, I wanna talk about a trip I took in 2018 for a conference for the brand Robin Ruth. Uh, they carry hats, purses, novelty kind of stuff. Anyway. The company I work for used to carry their line. So we were flown to Las Vegas for their annual conference. Uh, Las Vegas is a cool city. It's one of my favorite cities. I go there all the time for trade shows. Well, not anymore because of the pandemic, but I used to. And uh, Las Vegas is a lot of fun. When we were there, we were staying at the Bellagio Hotel. Never stayed there before, very fancy. And they had these buttons on the wall of the room where you could press to open your your curtains and your drapes. I thought that was really cool, so take a look at that. Okay, so the conference, we did a lot of conference-y stuff that I didn't really film because it was just information and lunches and all that kind of stuff. But one time, uh, one of the days we did have some free time. So we went to Madame Tussauds uh, Wax Museum. And uh, if you guys have seen the vlogs, you know that I love Madame Tussauds, I love going there. I've been to the one in Orlando, London, New York, um, all over, so DC as well. Um, so we went to Madame Tussauds and finally, I mean, I've been to so many of these. Finally, I got to see Marilyn Monroe's wax figure. When I was in Washington, D.C., I was all set to see Marilyn's wax figurine, but she was, like, getting hair or makeup done or, or touch-ups or whatever uh, to the figurine, so I didn't get to see it. So this is the first one out of, like, five or six that I finally got to see Marilyn Monroe. Also, they just have a great collection, a great collection of all the different uh, celebrities and sports and entertainment and movies and... Yeah, Marilyn was my favorite. Babe Ruth second favorite yeah it was a super Vegasy Las Vegas kind of feel to uh, the stars they had there they had Celine Dion um, Donnie Marie Osmond uh, all those guys
pieces that I lost in the lobby. I put you against the wall, you had us body to body. I can't help the way you make me feel, it's so hard to copy. Let's find common ground, meet me in a lost and found. Yeah. Dark days turning into dark nights. I hit the strip and spin it all, I'm having hard times. I reminisce and have me looking through the archives. I seen a picture of you looking like the star shines. And you bright, 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 bright. Like the lights on a fight night, night. Love hit me like a mic, mic. Oh, okay. So, as the conference is winding down, we have one last day to do something. We did all our meetings during the day and our lunches and all that kind of stuff. And then at night, we went to get a drink from a robot. I've never gotten a drink made by a robot. This bar is called Tipsy Robot. And basically, it's all these alcohols hanging upside down from the ceiling with like levers and all this kind of stuff. And this this mixing robot thing will just go up and like and and then it'll go, it'll mix your drink and it'll pour it and then it'll dump like this to make sure all of it's out. And then it cleans itself. And basically all you do is you put your drink on the iPad and then the robot makes your drink and then a girl brings you the drink. And that's it. And it was incredible. I've never had a robot make a drink for me. If you're in Vegas, it is an overpriced drink. It's like 20 bucks for one drink. But a robot makes you drink. How many people can say a robot made their drink? That is a cool thing to do. Do it once or twice. I think I've done it twice there. But after that, I don't want to pay that much for a drink. Get it right, right, right So stay with me Okay, back to walking, more steps Let's go It's lunchtime, that means it's time for some more reading This is the book Ballpark by Paul Goldberger I mentioned this in previous vlogs if you like baseball stadiums and the history of ballparks, get this book, read it, add to your collection. It is amazing. Okay, work is over. Time to go home. Time to watch some more baseball. I hope to watch the Dodgers hit some of the uh, the Astros. There was a little bit of back and forth yesterday. I hope there's more. Brooke, Joe Kelly from the Dodgers got an eight game suspension and he didn't even hit anyone. He just threw the ball behind him and in front of him and then he was throwing the ball against the cheaters. And he got eight game suspension, isn't that crazy? Should he have gotten suspended at all? Yeah. Yeah, but how much? How many games? Uh, one. Just one? That would have been a good. His manager got suspended for one game. Anywho, do you want to end the vlog for me? Yep. This vlog is over. <laughs> Don't be me.